There's certain things as a parent you just see, you don't want to forget. This would be one of the moments, five-year-old playing one-on-one -on -one football, fall in Ohio. Just unreal. All right, Andon, you ready, dude? Yeah. Let's see if I can punt. Oh, wrong. That was terrible. Hold on, I got another one for you. I tried to, <laughs> I tried to pump with my left foot. Weatherford wouldn't have been proud of that one. All right, there it is. I'm coming, man. All the leaves are almost off the trees. It's still nice out. And in Gregory, what's your favorite sport to play? Football. Football? You like baseball too, huh? Nope. No? Football? Yes. How about wrestling? Good. Yeah, so you want to have muscles like your daddy when you grow up? Yeah. Yeah? You got big muscles? Yes. Yeah? What's your favorite thing to do with dad? Football. <laughs> Anything else besides football? Nope. No. You got any advice for everybody? Nope. You got anything you want to say? Nope. No. No. <laughs> Yo, today we're going to go over peak week anabolic fasting. I get a lot of questions. First of all, I can't tell you enough how much I thank you for supporting the website. I literally love this thing. It's so fun doing content. And I know you guys are enjoying it and the results have been sick. But a lot of people say, like, how do I dial it in, G? Like I saw you do the trifecta, but you were doing three different things. How would you dial in if you're just on a shoot or show? And I'm going to lay it out for you guys today. So this is peak week anabolic fasting. If you haven't seen the interview on Tommy Snyder, how he won the overall title using this peak week, and if you haven't looked at the posing section, which I'm uploading right now, depending on if you're watching this video real time, it's probably not there yet, but it will be soon. And if not, check it out. I go over each pose that'll help you guys out. So what you're looking at here is I'm stretching out over top of PVC roller on the bench. I learned from a guy named Jay Fry who held the world record at 181 in the bench press. He used to work up to different level of thicknesses of PVC pipes during his warm up to get that arch correct. You can see my shoulders and my butt are both touching the bench, which put the bar, puts the bar in a mo more powerful position, and it works really good. It takes some time to get loose, but it's a really good thing to add to your repertoire if you're trying to get in a better position in a power, more powerful position on the bench. So now that I'm kind of stretched out, uh, I'm working off a one board. A one board just takes a little bit more pressure off my shoulders so it doesn't have to sink into my chest. This is just 315 bar weight. I'm, once again, I'm trying to dig my shoulders in the bench, get my arch good, just enough where my butt touches, get the board set right. I'm teaching Kyle how to do it and really just let the board sink in right where I would for my paws, get used to the iron and press it back up. I'm just starting to take my bench serious again, so I'm getting excited. Jeez, oh shit. All right, Jay, what's the agenda? So I figured you could intro me and then just kind of overview like why you put it off to me. Sure. And then we could just kind of discuss like some of the details of the program, like yep. how it's an extension of what you offer, but then it's all personalized to like new workouts each week. If you like get stacked, it's somewhat get stacked. Sure. Like, you know what I mean? And you, you can personalize even like you said weekly. Yeah. They need to yeah. on what they really Exactly, work. yeah. Yeah, I do like subtle differences each week, sure, like of course. Those are like phases, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then and while fasting, usually pretty much everybody's on that. And sure. All right, cool. Let's go. Yo, what's up everybody? Corey Gregor here. Today we're gonna go over uh, what the difference is between the regular membership at CoreyGFitness.com and working with one-on-one -on -one coach J <laughs> underscore Azeltine. So a lot of people ask like or I'm on the website, or are you just in cyber world out there that don't even know about the website, check out CoreyGFitness.com, but there's another level of one-on-one -on -one to help with accountability, to help tweak things towards your needs, and honestly, some people just need that extra step, right? And so I just literally did, had no time 
to give people what they really needed and at a price point that I thought was reasonable where a lot of people uh, could afford it. Jay has been at the gym since he's been about 15 years old. Now he's 22, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, so he's only learned really from us. Yeah and piloted anabolic fasting with me as I was going through it a couple years ago. And so to me, he, I knew, would take his time and pour into you guys as clients and would do it the way that I would do it. And that obviously he consults with me on a regular basis if he has any problems. So it's, uh, it was a, a perfect match. So Jay, talk about you know really a little bit more detail of what you do for the clients and really some of the results that you've had because they've been pretty awesome. Yeah, definitely. So if you're interested like, in a breakdown, I can shoot you an email with all the breakdown, but basically like a quick overview. Um, like he said, it's an extension of what he does basically. So like if you're on Get Stacked, but you join my program, we'll do something similar to Get Stacked, but it'll be like a fresh workout each week. So it'll be subtle differences because I like to do like phases. I just like three, four week phases, but. membership and the one-on-one -on -one program by J underscore as of time. So a little background on it. Look, I've done actually started doing one-on-one -on -one coaching on the internet in 2006, everybody. I was way ahead of the game. You got it on, Alex? Yeah. That's cool. Hell yeah. <laughs> Just randomly happening. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. That was cool. That's cool. Just a random uh, three old school Jeeps rolling through town. Yep. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Me and Alex were like, what is going on? Now it would be really cool if we could find a parking spot so we could eat. How many times have we driven around looking for a parking spot, Alex? Six. <laughs> I took AG from school. We're trying like hell to get to the club to eat. And there is no parking available because everybody's off work. Except school. Except for school's in. For some reason they get Columbus Day off, but not Veterans Day. I think that's messed up, AG. Yep. We should get every day off. That was pretty cool. They had the, those Jeeps looked like they were from... A long time ago. A long time ago. Super OG. There's a lady down here that's got her, her brakes on. I'm going to be able to jump in where that red car is. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there's one right there. Too. Oh, yes. I should have turned left. Block A. Go left. Get it. Yeah, that might be. Might be mine. Are you going, lady? Nope. Uh, she isn't going. Man, the struggle is real. Yeah. It's a parking spot. We've been looking for parking spot for 15 minutes. Maybe longer. We've been looking for one for 30 minutes. Cause my lunch is already over. Yeah. For y'all that live in the city, I know that's not very much, but this town only got like a couple thousand people that live in it. Killing me. All right, let's go eat, AG. Okay. So I figured I'd go ahead and get an extra squat workout in today to uh, just enjoy the sunshine. Just keep kind of piling some weight on. Throw a little quick wrap on. See what see what it feels like. So now it's my second workout. Sometimes it just feels good to get outside. I'll tell you that.
You've got the uh, cap off that thing, Ag. Yep. We're going to see Mad's little choir, uh, what, third grade, third grade choir thing. I don't know what she's singing, Alex. Do you know? Nope. Probably Jingle Bells. Oh, is it a Christmas one? Jingle I have no idea. It's gotta be like Thanksgiving, isn't it? Yeah. So we're gonna check that out, and then we're going to get some guy time in. Yeah. And get some grub. Yeah. Uh oh, yeah. car coming, Ag. No. <laughs> yeah. All right. Another car, another truck. Let's go this way. Two. Two. Rolling just the men today. Hey Dad, where are we going? We're going to a toy drive in Newark with my buddy Josh at Target. So we're going to shop. And if Bosco's matching what I spent, so we're going to do double shopping for the kids locally, trying to help them out. So I'm pretty pumped. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah, I can't wait to buy some new bikes and uh, some toys for some kids. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Got to give back as much as you can. And we're all going to go shopping as a family, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. I was just telling Stay tuned. Alex, you see how beautiful your mom is. Can I, can I put this in here? Can I? He didn't see for very long. Can I? He can't take it. Whoa, she's getting mean now. Yeah, you like that one? So the toy drive, yo, the toy drive teaches uh, obviously that we're buying things for other people. So that's really good for the guy behind the camera. So it took about an hour talk with the youngest though. To yeah. Get him and then. Well. And now he's on board. Yeah. He's on, look at him. He's on board. It's hard. It's hard when you're five to understand that you're buying something to give away. Like this. Little girls might like that. Let's see. Little people. what are you getting? So get a little bit wider. No, but it's Go. funny. Here, I want to show you what I bought so far. Skateboard, because the age group's newborn to 17. Some wiffle ball action. You should get this. Football. Obviously, sports stuff. Yeah. Nerf. Everybody likes jamming on Nerf hoops, right? Those are my, uh, those are my picks so far. I'm working on I found a ball. I found a ball. <laughs> That's pretty. I, I will. It's beast. Right here. Um, do you even play diapers? No, I think it's supposed to be toys. Diapers? <laughs> Mommy, can I put toys. this in? Yo, check out the question here. These are the, the gift bikes. Nice. Yeah. Look at all the stuff. We only we filled up two carts. I might oh. Yep. What are we doing this for again? I don't say much because I tear up. What are we doing this for, Mom? For we're donating to 
kids. I'm getting this. I'm getting this. I'm getting this. That's a lot. You should share that with everyone. I'm getting, I'm feeling this. Good job, Mom. Pulling two cards. Did you use a credit or a debit? Make sure you got the right, the right, uh, it's not everything's all tied up on your face. Yeah, I have it. Pretty cool. It's gonna be some happy kids. I'd be pumped if I got that bike right there. <laughs> For that skateboard. Thank you. <laughs> One more bump and I'll be back there. Thank y'all for something for doing such a good deed, okay? Thank you. <laughs> All right, hang a left. I see my boy Jake win the day for his senior game, senior day. He's a starter up here. He helps us put all the videos together for Max Effort Muscle. Been at the gym since he was a kid. So it was a beautiful day. So we rolled up here. AG's on the camera. Uh. Yeah. And uh, just got done with his first wrestling practice. It's pretty cool. What do, you, do you like wrestling, Andon? Yeah. Like his mom on the camera. Anyways, we're rolling up to Ohio Westland, beautiful campus. Go check it out. So we'll get some game footage for y'all. All right? Son, that wasn't a very smart move. Yeah, I didn't mean to. There's Jake. That's who we came to watch. He's looking huge. You know who else is looking huge with his mustache? Is Jake Andrews go right here? Oh, close up. That's so good. Oh. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Technique Daily, and I'm Corey Gregory. So today, we're gonna go over one of my favorite triceps. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Technique Daily, and I'm Corey Gregory. Hope you're doing well. So today, we're gonna go over pause front squats. I believe. Welcome to another episode of Technique Daily, and I'm Corey Gregory. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up banded squats in a commercial gym, your house, or basically a setup that isn't like old school West Side or I. For all your stuff that needs, MaxEverMuscle.com.